Tahira, and today I'm going to be showing you my July wrap. I only read five books this month, which isn't that bad compared to last month, but it's like not really what I want because it's summer and I should be reading a lot, but I'm not reading a lot, so I'm kind of ashamed I read only five books, but you know, it's fine. It happens sometimes. So let's just go right ahead. First book I read this month is Rook by Sharon Cameron. I don't have my copy. I don't have a copy. I don't own one. I got it from the library and I returned it a couple weeks ago. So here is this picture right here. So the next book I read this month is Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book to the Infront Devices trilogy. I loved it. I reread this. Amazing. Five out of five stars. Great to read. Just, it's just in a beautiful story, and so this book just great, great. Of course, after Clockwork Prince, I read Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, which is the third and final book to the Infinite Devices trilogy. Also great, beautiful story, great characters, Jem, Tessa, Will. It was such a great experience, an awesome experience to read their story. It was wonderful and everything at the same time. I have just so many emotions at the end. I just, I love, this is also a reread. I can't wait for more Cassandra Clare works, so I'm sure they're going to be amazing. I love her writing overall, and just this book is so beautiful. It's beautiful. I want to hold it. Fourth book I read this month is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This is the first book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, I think it's called. This I give a solid 4 out of 5 stars, which is actually not bad, but I had some problems with this book, but I can't really pinpoint what I found wrong with it. I just had something wrong with it. Um, but this book follows a girl named Karu, who is this mysterious girl. Uh, who works for this mysterious man who and she collects teeth for him and that man's name is Brimstone and she doesn't really know what the teeth are for uh, she's very mysterious she lives in Prague her friends are always commenting on what she's doing because of course she can't tell them that she's getting teeth for this guy so she has to kind of stay in this mysterious blanket but um, this book is beautiful I love the writing and I loved everything and I read the second book, uh, Days of Blood and Starlight. I quite, I did not quite like that book as much as I like this. I actually abandoned that book, but I really enjoyed this. I, it's a great read. Um, some people, a lot of people enjoyed it. If you did, that's great. It just, the rest of the series was not my type. The fifth and final book I read this month is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. This book is the first book to the Throne of Glass series, and this is a reread um, because I'm trying to reread all of her Throne of Glass books before Empire of Storms comes out in September, and I'm pre ordering that soon. And I love it, I loved it then, I loved it now, I love it now. And it was amazing um, again, and it's just amazing story, great characters again. Just Sarah J. Mass is one of my favorite authors, so you know. I love this book. I just love it. I love it. I got to meet her in May for her release of, um, on the first day actually when she came to Seattle, like he got my Aquatic Mist and Fury signed, which is such an amazing experience because she's my first author and my favorite author, so it was just great. And it was, I'm so lucky to have met my favorite author for my first book event, so I'm just forever grateful for that. So that is, guys, this, I know this is probably a short video. This is, um, uh, my wrap up a uh, comment below letting me know what's your favorite read of this month please subscribe if you want to be notified for when i post new videos and i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye